Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. I want to show you how to get really huge canon sounding toms on a song. In case you ever need huge canon sized tom tracks. They sound like a cannon is going off, is the way my bass player described them. So here's the song, and then I'll go back and show you how I got it. So the song continues like that with this big, huge reverb on these big sounding tom hits that kind of feel, it fits the vibe of the song. Now it doesn't stay the whole time when the full kit comes in over here, hang on, over here, that reverb goes away. Okay, so we're not using the huge reverb the whole time, that would be crazy. But at the beginning, it really works well. This huge, I'll solo the drums so you can hear what's going on there. Now, you may think the way to do this is to add some reverb and then go in and crank up your tom track and use crazy EQ to get a ton of low end out of it. Now that may be the case, but here's what I ended up doing. Here's my tom track. As you can see, there is no EQ or anything on it. I love the sound of it by itself. What I did end up doing is sending my drum bus, which is this track right here, sending that to this huge reverb for this first section of the song. And what I ended up doing with the reverb itself, you can see over here. So it's a big, just typical hall reverb, but I added this EQ and instead of the normal, what I normally do with EQ is I don't, EQ can make things muddy. So I'll roll off everything below two to 400 hertz. So there'll be a big roll off like this, right? And then the EQ doesn't get muddy. I can send anything to it and we're happy. But I was, and that's how I had it set up. And it sounded, my drum sounded like this. It's not bad, it still works, but the reverb is all wrong. It's all high frequencies and upper mid range and it just doesn't sound good. It sounds like a cafeteria or something. So by simply, and I was doing this for a long time and couldn't figure it out, I was try, I wanted this big, huge sounding tom sound and I was messing with the tom tracks and realized, oh, what if I just let more low frequencies come through on the reverb and listen to what happened. I'll start up here and I'll roll it back. Here it comes. Isn't that crazy? It introduces this whole extra level of just crazy room resonance kind of thing down in those low frequencies. Now I had to dial it back here. It was too much resonating here and I did a cut here to kind of deal with in the final mix there was a little too much low end so I dialed it back some more. But here's what the reverb sounds like by itself. Hang on, here we go. There's so much low frequency that keeps resonating after the tom hit. So you could have toms that sound like this. Which is how we originally recorded them. Or bring in that crazy huge reverb. And there you go. You've got a cannon going off in your mix, which is really what we should all want. All right. Anyway, by the way, this is from my upcoming album, uh, which will be out soon. It's done mixing. It's off to be mastered. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, it's called Better This Way. And this song is called Where Are You Now? And you know what? I'll give you a little, tiny little bit of a sample for your outro music. Otherwise, see you next week. Waters, can you hear me when I call?